there was no knowledge evil within itself. All knowledge is good knowledge. It really depends upon how you use that knowledge. If you look at the Bible, the Quran, other forms of religion and religious books, people have used them for good and they had also used them to do evil and mischief in the world. Look at the number of people that have been manipulated by religion, by the Bible, by the Quran. Look at the number of people that have been deceived in Christianity and even Islam. Now, even when it comes to the so-called black consciousness, we can see on YouTube, and there's a testimony on YouTube where even black consciousness is filled with wickedness, deception, and also good. I find it quite laughable when I just sit back and watch people comment on things that they really have no knowledge. Masonry, the Illuminati, the devil, or Lucifer, or Satan, whatever you prefer to call him, is laughable because people are quick to link Satanism or Masonry with Satanism. Whenever they talk about the Illuminati, they have to mention Freemasons or Masonry without having the knowledge. A Mason is not going to talk to you about Masonry. The Masons will let you sit back and make whatever comments and opinions or false or misinformation that you may have, they will sit back and watch you make an ass out of yourself. There are so many people that think they have knowledge and they have none. There is nothing satanic or evil about masonry. Now I know some of you out there that feel you have knowledge is gonna come back and say, well, uh, fearless, you should know better. You know, I thought you knew better. You need to do more research. Well, I have. And what I've discovered was that it's not masonry that's evil. As a matter of fact, they do a lot of good in the community. Good that you don't even see. Now, what they do in their personal life is completely outside of masonry. It's just like people going to church on Sunday and they stand up and they testify and talk about how saved and sanctified and how filled with the Holy Spirit they are. These are some of the same people that love to quote the Bible to you and condemn people to hell for the wrong and mischief that they do in their life. But behind closed doors. There are so many skeletons that's tucked away in their closet because they do their evil in the dark. And the Bible says that whatever is done in the dark will come to light. Now, even when it comes to Islam, there are so many primarily black males that go to prison and they come out Muslims. They're supposed to be righteous, but yet they're still partaking at the devil's table. They're still playing in the devil's backyard. And I always say that if you play in the devil's yard, one day 
he will show up. So I think when it comes to knowledge, knowledge of masonry or being a mason is not evil or wicked within itself. It's what you do in your personal life because whatever is inside you is what's going to come out. Now, there are guys that join the lodge and they only... Their only desire is to become a master mason. Once they become a master mason, they stop right there. They make the choice not to move forward or to advance. And then there are others that will pay their dues and they will advance. They will, they will move forward. They will even, they will become, uh, a 33rd degree Mason and then it will come down on the other side for those of your Masons know exactly what I'm talking about but once you cross over regardless if you are a Christian regardless if you are a Mason regardless of who you are you make the choice and decision what you choose to get into whether you choose to live a righteous path or if you choose to live an unrighteous, unholy, and dark path. There are so many men that cross over on the other side. And that's where they get into Satanism, Luciferianism. That's when they start getting into the dark arts, witchcraft, or voodoo, or Satanism. Whatever your religious preference is, that's what you're going to be. That's what you strive to be. So if you're holy, the Bible tells you to be holy still. If you are a liar, you will still lie. If you are wicked, you will be wicked still. So whatever is in your heart to do, regardless of what, type of information you study, regardless of what type of organization that you join, whoever you are, whatever you are, will be revealed and it will be manifested. Now, there are so many Masons that go to, they have like different events and there are Masons that just pay their dues and don't go to the events. And then there's other Masons that go to the events and whatever happens at those events happens at those events, whether it's righteousness or unrighteousness. But the individual person makes that choice and decision how they lose, how they use or live their lives. They make the choice and decision whether they choose the most high or if they choose the works of the devil or shaitan or Satan. Masonry is interesting to me because even when I studied it, before I studied it, I had my thoughts and opinions and I thought like many other people did. So I decided to find out for myself and I did. And once I found out for myself, I learned this is not bad at all. It really depends upon the individual person. So if you decide to join a lodge or become a Mason, whatever you are before you join Masonry is who you're going to be while you're a part of Masonry. Whoever you are before is going to, it's going to be, you're going to end up being who you are in the end. Unless, of course, you have a change of heart and decide to live righteous. But when it comes to information, when it comes to knowledge, nothing is evil within itself. You just become enlightened. The enlightened ones. The light comes on in your head. You're, you're building 
yourself. You're building a man. Let there be light. Until next time, I'm fearless.